Tyler for Lava and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a Samuel snowflake. When I taught at St. Peter Chanel School in Dunedin, I told the children, my students, that when it rains in Dunedin that the snowflakes are rainbow coloured. We have a wee bit of a laugh then carry on. This is a great, great winter activity um, for maths and also as we head into Le Vayaso and Ngana Samoa, Samoan Language Week. So the first thing you do, of course, you have a square piece of paper and then you fold it in half, fold it into a quarter, then into an eighth. An important thing to note here is where these um, edges face because that's the midsection of your petal. So it's really important that you can see that or remember where that is. I normally get students to get a pencil and mark a wee line here so that way they don't cut through the centre because if they cut through the centre their, their, um, their tupper cloth, their tupper pattern motif will fall apart. The next thing I get them to do is draw a big kind of um, arc or curve to make the petal. So make sure it's big. So I say, well, I'll just kind of roughly place it on. Then, very carefully, with a pair of scissors, we cut the petal out. So as you can see, the line's there. Cut along the line. Now, I've done this activity with uh, e from new entrance to year sixes. Okay, then I down the middle, I would tell the children, I'll give them... A, a few shapes to pick from, whether it be circles, triangles, or squares, or rectangles, diamonds even, and then they can cut that down the middle. So I'm going to just do a few diamond, um, yeah, a few diamonds here. That's one, two, and three. Okay, I might even just throw in a wee um, rectangle here. Okay, so and you can also cut on the outside of the petal. So I'll just make just do a few triangle cuts. One, two, and three. Okay. Now if you want, if you really want to be fancy, you can probably just cut the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut, oh, yeah, I'm going to cut straight. And just cut that tip off the, the middle or the centre. And then very carefully open up your siapo pattern or siapo motif. And there we go. Now, of course, with younger children, just maybe pick or tell them just to do a couple of shapes in the middle. And of course, with older children, you can get more advanced and do more complex patterns. So here's um, just a couple that I did earlier. And when you put them all together, you can make a big, large um, tupper cloth. So hopefully um, you enjoyed that tutorial. Yeman Weir.